Hello, it's Miss Khan here on Friday, the 29th of January 2021. Well done for all your amazing writing of plot point four and plot point five of the middle of your innovated version of Little Red Riding Hood. So today we're going to be finishing off the middle. So we will be writing, uh, writing all about plot point six. So let's go through our what, how and why for today. So our what today is to write our innovative version of the tale of Little Red Riding Hood in the middle, focusing on plot point six. How, practicing new learning and why, so we can sequence sentences to form a piece of writing. Like I said, it's really important to have our story map from a uh, story map, sorry, from last week that we drew to help us with our writing. So what happens in our innovative plot point six? What actually happens? So at this point, I would like you to get your story map from last week. This is what you drew, okay, and I want you to look, okay, what happens, what happens, and I want you to have a little chat with someone next to you, okay, what happens in your innovative plot point six. I'll give you a couple of minutes to do that. So you can see, okay, on the original plot point of the tale of Little Red Riding Hood, the wolf, okay, eats grandma. He eats grandma and he puts grandma's clothes on, ready to be grandma, ready for Little Red Riding to Little Red Riding Hood to enter. Okay, and you can see, okay, on my innovative plot point, okay, you can see that the mean massive mammoth gobbles Sonny the seal in just one bite and all was left was a pile of bones and you can see there is just a pile of bones so that is what i'm going to write okay for my plot point six so when i write it's really important to have three things actually four things okay when we are writing so it's really important to have our phonics map with us okay all the way from phase two all the way to phase five and like i say these are in your learning log at the back of your learning log so really use them when you are doing your writing use your word map that you have created okay these are some of our tricky words from year one and also words that we think we might need Okay, for our piece of writing, i.e. I know I need to know how to spell the word penguin and Antarctica. Again, I've got my time to check, making sure I use all my non-negotiables for my writing. And also you have your story map, okay, the one that you drew last week to help you. So let's make a start. So I'm going to turn my camera. You're going to see this. With you and you can see all the resources everywhere on my desk so I have got my story uh, map okay and I'm focusing on just innovated plot point six okay that's all I'm focusing on today I have got my word mat to help me. I have got my time to check, okay, making sure I have all of these. Let's go over these really quickly. Making sure my writing is on the line, sitting on the line beautifully. Making sure I have capital letters in the right places okay remember at the start of the sentence if um, the name of something always a noun okay making sure my handwriting is beautiful okay 
making sure I use my phonics using my phase mat, of course, and also if you're struggling using those super segmenting arms, okay. A thing that we are working on making sure that we have finger spaces in between our words, okay. Another thing that we're working on and making sure our sentences make sense, okay. So it is really important to read back at your writing okay which we have been doing okay during this week and the last thing we need in a piece of writing is that when we finish a sentence it is important to put a full stop okay really important so i've got that there and i've also got my phase two all the way to phase five sound mat okay and you can see that there so i've got all my things that i need to get my writing ready so i'm going to go back okay and read what i wrote yesterday okay read what i wrote yesterday here are my pieces of paper okay So, for plot point four and five, okay, I wrote The massive mean mammoth gets an idea An idea, okay He carefully runs to Sunny the seal's habitat To get there before Percy the penguin Okay, now I am going to do my plot point, my innovated plot point six. Yeah, okay. Perfect. So let's make a start. Need my pen, of course. So I can see, okay that the mean mammoth has gobbled sunny the seal so i like the word gobbled so i'm going to use that so i'm going to miss a line we're going to i'm going to write the mean mammoth gobbles okay so the capital t why do i need a capital t who thinks they can tell me why i need a capital t yes you're right because we start the sentence and we need a capital t the Mean, it's part of his name, mean mammoth mean mammoth gobbled. Oh, gobbles. Sunny. Up to S because it's part of his name. Sunny, the tricky word. The seal. Capital S. Seal. Oh. in just one by in just j o s t just one by i t and put an exclamation mark to make it really a <gasps> shocking moment then i'm going to say all that was left was a pile of pile of what pile of bones so i'm going to write capital a all l, l, not one l, that diagram l. all that super segment z, a that finger space that 
was cap not capital that's silly sausage uh, finger space was tricky word is was was all that was left L -e -t was a p I -l of of white bones bean bones i can do what a pile of white sharp bones i want to add an adjective a pile of white bones i'm gonna write white clean bones and you can see that i want to make my writing better okay and that is why i've added some adjectives just to describe the bones okay because i know they were white they were clean okay just to make that writing even better there's always ways to make your writing even better and i think i've done my plot point six there so i'm going to read through my plot point six and just check if there's anything I can add to make it even better. I'm going to use my time to check. I'm going to leave it here. Just to help me. Okay. So let's read it. Ready? The mean mammoth gobbles sunny the seal up in just one bite. All that was left was a pile of white clean bones i'm happy with that i'm really happy with that actually so it's your turn okay to write your plot point six okay your innovative plot point six for your tale and i would love to see that on evidence me see you tomorrow guys for at the end of our tale so we'll be focusing on plot point seven plot point eight and plot point nine see you tomorrow guys bye